He thinks he's the winner. Yeah, we are here with Gabriel Rosado. Gabe, I know that must have been a tough moment right there here in Philadelphia right off the bat. What did you think of the judge's decision? Yo, I, I, I felt I won the fight. I mean, I, I surprised him. I outboxed him. I outjabbed him. I countered him. I made him miss big shots. I mean, like, he even when, even when they said the decision, he was disappointed. I walked up with my hands up. Like, he, he had the look on his face of defeat. That man didn't do nothing to me. He put more hands on Canelo and Triple G than he did me. I boxed him. I caught him off guard. I thought, I thought we boxed a great fight, jabbing up and down. I mean, made him miss big shots, hit him with, a big, hit him with big shots. It's like, it was crazy. I, I mean, they, they said from Philadelphia, I raised my hands up. And the next thing you know, was, I mean, he, he was surprised. He was surprised. He was as surprised as I, as I was. I think a lot of people coming into this fight because of the bad blood expected a firefight, but you fought a very disciplined fight out there tonight. Yeah, because I'm a veteran, so I let the emotions get to him. I let him get riled up. I let him, you know, I let him get caught, get caught up, but I fought a disciplined fight a veteran fight, a world-class fight. You know, I showed people I could box. This, guy's a, this guy went to battle with Triple G. This guy went to battle with Canelo. I made that, I made it look easy. I thought I made it look easy. I was like, I was, I felt good. I was jabbing up and down. I hit him with big right hands. I slipped, I moved when it was time to. I mean, he didn't, and when it was time to, to exchange, he really didn't want to. He was, uh, he, he was the one um, doing the clinching. A lot of your fights, Gabe, you have been cut in those later rounds, and you are not cutting this one. How, how much confidence did it give you not getting cut in those later rounds? But, but look, man, I haven't been cut since 2014. Everybody's, you know, thinking of, you know, back when the, when the Triple G fight, which that fight stands out. But, you know, since 2014, I haven't been cut. You know, me and Freddie Roach had a great camp. We knew we could box. I'm a veteran. So I felt like, you know what, I'm going to let him get emotional. I'm going to let him get caught up, and then I'm going I'm to use it against him. He came in with emotions. I felt I boxed him. I, I mean... No doubt. When they said the score, when they said the decision, he walked away like he he was defeated. And then next thing you know, when he realized it was him, then you know he, you know he went with it. It's bullshit. You've been had some tough losses in your career. Where do you go from here? I don't know, man. Like you know, I'm a veteran, man, and it's and it's a shame because you know, I don't know, man. I don't know why they don't give me a decision like that. You know, I felt that I'll box this man. Me and Freddie had a good game plan. My jab was working up and down the big right hand. You know, I went to the body, ring generalship, you know, and I applied pressure when I had to. You think you proved you can compete with the best 168 pounds? Of course, of course. I, I, I thought I won today. I mean, like, no doubt about it, I thought I won today. I thought I, I put a boxing lesson. Look, I'm clean. I'm clean. Tough loss, Gabe. I know you fought a tough fight. Uh, thanks for the great performance. Thank you. Guys.